video is going to be a little bit different because as you can see, or can't see, I'm not in the frame. Today is my first Parts and Craftsies project for Halloween coming up. It is my favorite time of the year, so I'm excited. Hopefully this little camera on my head captures everything properly. Otherwise, I'm going to waste a whole shitload of time for nothing. Okay, what we have here is just a regular ball mason jar. It's the smaller one. And what I did was I took some painter's tape and I just made a little face design, you know, on the front. My, I, my idea for this is I'm going to paint the entire thing. I think I might leave this ball word out as well. But I'm going to paint the entire thing and then when it's all done, I'm going to pull the tape off and I'm going to have a tea light in there so you'll see the tea light flicker in the eyes, the nose, and the mouth. I have never tried this product. This product. Jesus, I'm bloopering myself already, for Christ's sake. Let's try that again. I've never tried this craft before, so this is going to be a first for me as well. Um, the first thing I'm going to use is, gotta love Bob Ross. He was awesome. I'm going to use some of his white gesso, only because there's a lot of ridging and stuff with the, you know, the, the measurements and stuff, because you do actually can with these. In fact, I usually do can, but my garden took a crap on me this year, and it wasn't as good as I was hoping it would be. So, we're going to use the mason jars for something fun, I think. Right, so first we're going to use some of this, because this hopefully will even out some of the ridging. And yes, you can hear the snort monster, because she's always up my ass. And there she is. Hello, puppas. You're so pretty. Yes, you are. Okay. So, I don't know if this is going to work. It's my first time even attempting this project. So, here we go. And I will probably fast forward just so we don't have to see a lot of this boring shit because I'm pretty sure it's going to get boring. So, yeah. This is the first step. We're going to put some of this on the whole entire thing. Except for this spot on the back. I think I'm going to leave that out so you can see where it says ball when it lights up too. Just to see if we can smooth some of these ridges out. I don't know if it'll work or not, but here we go. actually went to college for graphic design, but I've always been artsy-fartsy pretty much my whole life. So... Doing stuff like this is extremely fun for me, especially when, you know, I can come up with something and it actually works. I've seen several different people doing something similar to this, and I just wanted to make my own little, you know, take my own spin on it, I guess you could say. So, we're going to see how well this works. Hope I don't make you guys dizzy with all the, uh head movements. This is my first time using this camera and I have to say so far I really like it. It is not a GoPro, although this has a feature that the GoPro does have. I can use this as Wi-Fi on my cell phone. Oh, shit, I got a little too close to that. Alright, we'll have to clean that up. Anyway, I will link this camera also in the box along with all the little fun stuff that I'm using. In case anyone wants to know, super cheap, affordable, I'm not saying cheaply made, but cheap, affordable, on Amazon, and so far, I'm pretty damn impressed with it. Alright, I think I'm babbling a little bit too friggin' much here. God damn. That's the only shitty thing about using natural, and I just stuck my finger in it, Nas national. Oh, why do I have such a hard time talking? natural brushes is they do tend to shed. Don't mind my table. It's got shit all over it because I'm being crafty. Okay, need a little bit of brush. And now the dog's going to eat. Awesome. That's just great puppy. It's a good thing I love your little ass. This bottom layer, you're not going to see, so I don't really mind that it's 
streaking a little. Now, we will do the thing painters hate the most, and that is let this sun bitch dry. I think I'm also going to do a witch and maybe a ghost, or maybe a black cat and a ghost. I don't know. I haven't quite figured it out yet, but I'm going to clean this up real quick. And I'm going to use a synthetic brush because the bristles are a little more firm. And, um, it won't spread out when I'm trying to Oh god, I can't believe she's so loud. Nom nom nom. She kind of sounds like Cookie Monster eating cookies. I don't know if you guys can hear her. I, I can't imagine you can't. will be fast forwarding through some of this because shit is pretty boring actually but has, has dried I stuck it outside it's kind of warm here today so I figured what the hell give it a shot I'm not exactly sure if I want to do white now on top I think I'm gonna test the side with a little bit of my orange to see if maybe I don't actually need Ooh, that's a bright ass orange because if, if I don't need to do the white, I, I'm not I'm not going to, even though it's pretty streaky. I mean, when you carve a pumpkin, it's it's never you know perfect. Well, unless you're <laughs> unless you're Ray Villafane, because that man is a genius. Um, so this is just regular acrylic paint I had left over from one of my classes, and I'm just adding. And here comes the snort monster. Um, I'm just adding a little bit of water to this to make it a little more workable. Um, I guess worst comes to worst, I could just rinse this shit off and try again, right? Alright, so let's try on the side here. This actually might be okay, other than maybe not adding so much, <clears throat> excuse me, so much um, water in it next time. Let's see. Sometimes I'm an asshole, like right now. this is the back 
So uh, if it's smeary or blotchy, I don't really mind it so much because the front is going to be the side that I'm displaying and it's just going to be on my table. Just, you know, something neat, something different, something new. If it comes out right, that, that is. Again, I am going to um, clean this up with a different brush. I really just want to get all the white covered. You could also clean this up with a Q-tip. You don't really need to use a brush, but I mean, if you have them, you might as well use them. So. <laughs> I'm also using a mason jar for my water. So now let's clean up. Totally missed that whole friggin' spot. So we're just gonna improvise and do it right quick. Giving the glass a blowjob, isn't that funny? I really have issues. Alright, so now what I'm gonna do is... So put this back outside and we'll check on it again in a little bit and we'll see how it looks. After this, really, all I'm going to do is drop that tea light in there. I think I'm going to put some black tool around the top where the lid is going to go. I really don't like the way that looks right there. I don't know, maybe, this, maybe that was a wrong idea. I don't know. Time will tell. Okay, so this is going to go outside and dry. And if worse comes to worse, I got a blow dryer. I'll use that bitch. Okay? Check back with you in a little bit. Hey guys, I am back. Technical difficulties with this camera. As I said, it is brand new. My first time using it. Um, I just peeled the painter's tape off. As you can see... It pulled in some spots, it was a little wonky in some spots, and I probably should have waited and um, made sure this was dry, more dry than what it is. But that's okay, because pumpkins aren't supposed to be perfect, unless, like I said, you're a professional pumpkin carver, which I am not. Anyway, to... Please tell me they have batteries. 
Okay. So here is the object. We got it in here. All right, let's turn the light off and see how that looks. All right, so we're going to turn the light off. So here it is with the light off. That is pretty badass. I am going to clean the eyes and everything up. Um, I kind of like the streaky look. It kind of looks like the skin of a pumpkin. I'm going to clean this up too. I don't know how to make it any brighter. But I think overall it looks, it looks pretty cute. Oh look, there's my thumbprint. Huh. This video is just a screw up after screw up. Uh, you will notice in the beginning parts of the video, you will see the date and time stamp because, as I said, first time using it, and I didn't read the directions, so there you were. Um, date and time stamp is in there. So, also, you'll notice that the videos will cut off after a minute. I don't know why. Um, so, I guess I really need to go back in and check those settings for show because something is awry. Anyway, guys, I hope you like this video. Uh, I do have a couple more of these lined up. Maybe I will just um, do a whole nother farts and craftsy kind of thing with uh, the ghost one that I have already primed. And I think I'm going to do a witch or a cat. And I can do them both together and hopefully have all these kinks worked out. But thank you for watching. Let me turn the light back on. Actually, no. We have ambiance. Uh, thank you guys for watching, and um, I probably will do another video just so that you can see a really good finished product. This is just my first time. Or maybe I'll do a follow-up for this, including the other two. I don't know. I'm an ass, and I can't figure out what the hell I want to do. But anyway, thank you guys for watching, and uh, if you like what you see and you want to see more, give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Tell all your friends, hey, look, there's this crazy chick and she does all kind of stupid shit and she can't talk and she stumbles over her words and all kinds of stuff. <laughs> all right, guys, thanks for watching. And I normally say see you when I see you, but how about I do it like this? See you when I see you.